Okay, everybody, what is up? Carlos Sanchez, Sneak Geeks, coming at you once again, back with another video. So, the token card dot io ico went down uh today and the um it was a movie to see it was so entertaining scammers came out out of the woodwork uh hopefully everyone got their uh, tokens that was looking to get tokens and didn't get scammed um it was um uh, it was definitely a sight to see. Um, all common sense went out the window. All security precautions that people should have been taking went out the window. And greed set in as people started to send their ether to whoever the hell they could send it to in hope that they can make more money from their investment or their speculation. So, the ICO is over. The ICO is over. Here is the website. Uh, it was over in about 30 minutes or 25 minutes. I'm not exactly 100% on that. But um, it looks like they raised... What's it say here? 42 million, 42.3 million uh, tokens were created um, and 12 million was raised in US dollars from the ICO. Now the Slack channel, and I don't know what's this here where you see rep and you see DGD, GNT, singles, like it's still accepting, but according to this right here, it is closed. So. I would not recommend sending any tokens. If you do accidentally do send tokens to the official tokencard.io um, uh, address, uh, it will be refunded. Uh, they will refund it uh, to you if definitely if it was sent after um, the ICO closed. Now the Slack channel, the Slack channel was a, like I said, a movie man to watch. Um, there's still people in here trying to scam and what they were doing is one guy successfully and there was probably more than one guy successfully I don't know what they just what the, what the hell just happened here but uh, was able to get away with let's go to that address it looks like he got 120 ether at the time was about nine ninety two hundred dollars US dollars and what he did is he posted he took the image the avatar image of one of the moderators copied that created a new account added a um, used the same name but he added a uh, like a space that you couldn't see in the name uh, and then posted and said here the ICO is live here's the address posted his address and people started to send Ethereum to that address and they got scammed. Um, I think right now the uh, channel is something's going on because all these emojis are showing up. I don't know if it's actually if they shut it down, but it is definitely entertaining. Some other guy said he sent 240 ether to another address. It wasn't this address, but look at this. This guy here right now is still trying to scam. Peter Alchemy. Um, they allowed me to allow people to swap one ETH for 150 tokens, and here's his scam uh, address right here. And this is open for one hour, he's saying. And there was others in here um, trying to scam, and some of them were successful. So, uh, sorry for those that got scammed. I hope you weren't one of them. But... Um, it was, uh, like I said, man, when these things happen, the scammers come out of the woodwork, and then the greed of the people that are wanting to invest, their ration now uh, goes out the window. No sense of, the common sense goes out the window, and they just start throwing their money at whoever will take it in hope of making more money. And that's greed, folks. 
Don't let your greed make you uh, uh, have you make irrational decisions. You got to keep your head on straight, especially in this space, because this is the scammers are are are, can, are so much more successful, potentially successful, but also because it's complicated, right? You got to make sure you're copying the correct address and you're inputting the correct address. Uh, I personally use my Nano Ledger via my Ether Wallet. I had to turn on the browser support in my Nano Ledger Wallet S so my Ether Wallet could communicate with my Nano, but I was successfully able to send some Ether to get me some TKN tokens. Now, they will be posting, people are asking, when will I see my tokens, which is the contract I need to watch for that. That will be posted soon. Uh, I'm sure they're going to be posting it on their website and they will be posting it on the Slack and many other, probably Twitter and some other places. So as soon as I find out, I'm definitely going to post that information out so people can see um, and how they can uh, see their token balance. Um, yeah, man, it was, it was crazy. It was a movie to be watched and see all of the craziness action the, the scamming going on, going on live, it was um, quite, a, quite a thing. So, in case you didn't know, what is a token? Um, tokencard.io, it is a Visa card that they're creating, a Visa card that is uh, controlled by a smart contract that will be on the Ethereum network, and they have their own token. So this Visa card, wherever Visa is accepted, you'll be able to use your Visa card, swipe it, and it will pay out in whatever you say because it's going to be an app. And you through your app, you'll be able to control where you want your balances and how you want your balances distributed. So, for example, initially they're going to be accepting, I think, maybe five different Ethereum tokens. And they're hoping to expand that to 10 or maybe 20. And you'll be able to say, uh, I want to spend, uh, I want, you know, 20% in Ethereum, 20% in Digix, 20% in Maker. You know, however you want your, your uh, holdings to be distributed and whatever you spend, it will take out accordingly to that. Um, this Visa card will not be available to use in the U.S. And if you are in the U.S., technically you aren't supposed to invest in this ICO, but um, nothing is stopping you from doing it. You could just send Ethereum tokens and you'll get your Ethereum tokens. Um, you just had to, when you were initially doing it, you had to click uh, a box that says I am not a US resident um, so in order to get in on the ICO an interesting feature of this visa card and this token just people that are going to be holding the token uh, there will be a 1% to 1.5% fee for using I forget exactly if it's 1 or 1.5 for using the card and those fees will be going to the token holder so whoever holds the tokens will be able to uh, participate in the revenue sharing that they'll be doing. <clears throat> so even if you didn't get in on the ICO, you'll still be able to get these tokens because these tokens will be posted on exchanges. I'm sure it'll go up on Pol uh, Poloniex and Bittrex and some others. And you'll still be able to get in on purchasing these tokens and part being able to participate in the revenue sharing that's going to come into play. So as uh, was said by the official video, it looks like they'll have an MVP, a minimal, a minimally viable product coming in September. So it looks like, um, again, this product will be going live as far as the actual Visa card and be able to participate in the revenue share uh, sometime after September. Uh, the MVP will not be the actual live product. It would just be uh, an example of well, how the product will work. And then a live product will, go, will come uh, shortly thereafter. But... Up until then, up until that happens, you will still be able to participate in uh, getting these tokens once they go live on uh, the exchanges and you'll be able to trade them, buy and sell them and you can still potentially make a profit that way if trading is your forte. So everybody, I think this is all for now on this video. Just want to let everybody know what was the deal with the ICO how it went down, the scammers that were there, what's going down in the, um, in the, the Slack channel, 
let's see if it's still going crazy. It was going crazy with uh, the emojis. And that is still happening. Because I think they shut it down because there were too many scammers in here. Um, let's see. And I'm just reading some of the um, posts in the Slack. So, yeah, people still trying to scam. And let's see what else. And what I stated, there was this one address here. This was posted in Slack. Dude faked that he was one of the moderators. And looks like somebody or, um, or somebody's, multiple people, sent over 120 Ether uh, to him. But there were other scammers. Um, so let's look at the official... I can find it the official so as of what time was this there was twelve million three hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars over twelve million three hundred eighty seven dollars let me refresh and twelve million nine hundred and eighty three thousand dollars and it looks like there's people still sending I think there might be people still sending um money to this contract what is this so but it looks like uh these were bad transactions so i guess these are not being accepted because uh and you can see the amounts that were being sent six ether one ether 50 ether two ether nine five and so forth so um point one five so it looks like people are are still sending um, transactions or ether to this contract, even though the ICO is over and it is closed. Um, let me just look and do a comparison. They said twelve point seven million and twelve point seven million. So. Like another two hundred eighty thousand dollars or so were still sent after the closing of the ICO. All right, everybody, that is it for now. Stay tuned for the, my next video. I'll give you an update as soon as I find out about where you can find your tokens if you invested in this ICO, and also uh, any other information and news that's happening in the crypto space and what I'm doing with mining. Uh, if you didn't see my, not my last video, but the video before that, I was uh, um, fooling around with some pools. I got a script miner, set it up, trying to find the most profitable pool for that. Uh, and I'm going to be doing an update on that, uh, uh, with, on that video. So please subscribe, thumbs up, and uh, share the video if you care to. And yeah, but definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing some interesting things on this channel. Going to definitely be engaging a little bit more with the community. Uh, do some giveaways in the crypto space. But you need to subscribe so you can get in on that. All right, everybody. Peace. Stay tuned. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank you. It was a movie to see. It was so entertaining. Scammers came out out of the woodwork. Uh, hopefully everyone got their uh, tokens that was looking to get tokens and didn't get scammed. Um, it was um, a, it was definitely a sight to see. Um, all common sense went out. Okay, everybody, what is up? Carlos Sanchez, Sneak Geeks, coming at you once again, back with another video. So, the token card. Dot IO ICO went down uh, today, and the um, it was out the window. All security precautions that people should have been taking went out the window, and greed set in as people started to send their ether to whoever the hell they could send it to in hope that they can make more money from their investment on that but um it looks like they raised what's it say here 42 million 42.3 million uh tokens were created 
um, and 12 million was raised in U.S. dollars or their speculation. So the ICO is over. The ICO is over. Here is the website. Uh, it was over in about 30 minutes or 25 minutes. I'm not exactly 100%. Uh, 